Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We have the Jeff R here and it's a uh, interesting landed state. And last time I asked if you wanted me to try and launch this ship as it is, or whether I should just cut my losses and send up a new one. Well, the vote has come in and we got a 66% vote in favour of what the hell, this is Kerbal Space Program, let's just try it anyway. So, we're gonna do this. But first things first, I need to get Jebediah over to the Jeff R. So, I need to go to the tracking station. And I need to find... There we are, there's Jebediah. And let's fly Jebediah. Wait for it to load him up. There he is. Complete with his less than successful attempt at landing. Yeah. Anyways, uh, moving on. And we're gonna set the Jeff R as the target. Where I'm supposed to be going. And let's try and find Jeff R on the map. Oh, he's not showing up on the map. Ah, maybe if I set the target. Will he show up on the map or now? No, he won't. Okay, uh, that's somewhat disturbing. Why are you bouncing about? Okay, I need to figure out which way I need to be going. So, I think I need to be heading sort of westerly. Let's figure out which way west is on this nav ball. Right, that's north. West should be. <laughs> so much fun having Kerbins running around on the moon. Right, I think this is the right direction, but there's only really one way to test, and that's to just keep running until I go a significant enough distance to tell. So, let's go ahead and fire up the jetpack, and let's get moving. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Made a hash of that. But he is definitely moving. <laughs> and it looks like... Target is... <laughs> Coming up. Okay, let's, let's let him finish ragdolling. Okay, you done? There we go. Okay. See whether or not that's put me any significant distance. I can't tell. I've got a long way to go. Okay. Why? Why can't I get him to go up with his RCS? This is interesting. See us on up. Come on, going up. That's left and right. Ah, that's up. Okay. Okay, let's fly. No atmosphere in the moon, so I don't need to worry about keeping. forward momentum. I just need to keep him off the... Oh, sticky keys. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've switched off sticky keys now. Oh, and, and now we, we're ragdolling. Okay. Well, whilst we ragdoll, let's see if we're... Are we going the wrong way? 
Okay, so apparently that was not north up there, that was south. So I need to going east. Okay. Well, now I know which way I'm supposed to go. I can do a 180. Okay, this is probably going to take some time, so I think what I'm going to do now is I am going to just go ahead and cut this. Oh, sticky keys again? What I switched you off? Okay, that should be off now. So, uh, yeah. Yay, red dog. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut out and come back once I get Jebediah to the spaceship. So, I shall see you then. Um. Bugger. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, apparently I was going too fast. And <laughs> when I hit the ground, Jebediah did not like it. Oh god. And I was finally, finally starting to get roughly in the right direction. So first I went off in the complete opposite direction, then when I turned 180 I didn't turn 180, I only turned 90 and went the other wrong direction, so I finally started going the right direction and then, yeah, that happened. Okay, well. I guess it's all a bit of a moot point now, really, isn't it? But I'm going to go ahead and try and launch the Jeff R anyway. Just to find out what would have happened. What would have happened if I tried to launch this thing? So. Ah, oh, oh, right. Um. Yeah, okay. So, I can't because... I've got no control over my ship at the moment. Because I haven't got a signal. Okay, so it would have required... Required dear sweet Jebediah to have gotten this off the ground anyway. Yeah, because I've got no signal. Yeah. Okay, so something to think about for future version iterations of the Jeff R. Maybe some sort of transmitter to, you know, a actually control this thing on the far side of the moon. Okay. Well, let's uh let's just go ahead and ditch this now. Don't need that anymore. And I guess we are now going to be flying back to the moon with somebody else. Because yeah. I have yet to recover scientific data from the space around Kerbin. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Perfect parameter complete. Explore the moon. <laughs> Any crash you can count on, walk away from counts as a landing. <laughs> yep, technically it did. Uh. Landed on the surface of the moon for the first time, walked on the surface of the moon for the first time, and planted a flag on the moon for the first time. Okay, cool. Explore the moon. 
one small step for Kerbin, one giant leap for our budget. Okay. Exploration of the moon was successful, but who knows what other secrets it holds. Okay. Plant a flag on the moon. Our trackers confirm the flag has been planted at the moon. Nicely done. Okay. Uh -huh. So, apparently, it's just this contract left. Interesting. Apparently, I didn't actually have to get that guy back from the moon to complete that other contract. Interesting. mission contracts anymore after this. Looks like it's all just various <laughs> things. So, I am going to go ahead and ignore all of that in favour of... Actually, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now, because, I mean, I've completed, as it were, the mission objectives of the missions that it's been giving me in story mode. So, I guess, technically, I've done everything I set out to do. And I was kind of just doing this to learn my way around before I try to do Kerbal Space Program 2. That said, eh, it kind of irks me that I haven't landed on the moon and taken off again. At least not successfully in one way or another. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's send someone else. Let's load up the Jeff R. Add some sort of radio control or communication, that's what I'm looking for. He can do some science whilst he's out there. Okay, let's let's launch this and let's see if we can do a better launch than last uh, last time. Because uh, yeah, last time was a debacle. Wee wobbly rocket. Switch on SAS. Okay, I think the rocket's just about finished its wobbling now. So it's max throttle. And uh, let's go ahead and... Block. Very out of control. Does not want to go where I want it. That's kind of sort of going where I want it. Not really, but we'll we'll work on it. There we go. Okay, we're basically going where I want to be going. Oh, and I missed my stage. I, I still 
don't know why my rockets tend to spin. It's a very odd habit they have. plan my secularization. Well do burn time five minutes, no time is yeah, okay, so you need to start burning straight away. seconds time. Uh, wait, no, one minute eight seconds, I need to be, wait, no, I need to be, uh, 34. Okay, this is a bit more like it. Bye. 
let's see how this is looking. Yep, that's officially in orbit. Okay. Let us target and let's see just how far off my no 14 degrees. Ouch. I think I spotted something somewhere in there where it was at zero degrees. There we are. Move the node. Can I maybe do it with a little less fuel? done and then we can attempt to land on the moon in the next episode. Emphasis on attempt. Because let's face it, I'm gonna mess it up somehow, I always do. Okay, that's on the maneuver node. seconds or so. I need to start burning. T minus 42. And any second now. Cool. My rockets have developed this weird habit of spinning. I don't know why. My rockets are 
if it's good with the spin, I could give a nice smooth launch. Almost every time, I'd imagine. Because I wouldn't be too busy worrying about my spin to miss my stage. Something to figure out someday. Eventually. And that's about right. Yep, there we go, that'll do. Okay. So that's the way things stand at the moment. I shall end this episode here. Hope you enjoyed me watch, watching me completely mess up. <laughs> Until next time, stay back.